Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Haley, and today we're going to be talking about my favorite rides at the Disney parks in the United States. I have been to Disney World multiple times. Um, I went twice in the past three years, and then I've also been at Disneyland. I just went this past year, and then when, for Disney World, I just skipped that. I used to go like every year with my family up until I was like eight. Um, so that was really long ago, I don't remember too much. But I thought it'd be a fun video because I'm really missing Disney, especially today. And I have my mini ears, I have my Disney World sweatshirt, and then I didn't really get much at Disneyland when I went, but I have my verse visit pin for Disneyland. Um, so let's get into it. My, I'm going to start just with Disney World, even though a lot of the rides are si like similar, they're the same type, but they're very different at each park. Uh, I've been to Disney World, like I said, the most. I live on the East Coast, so it's just easier for me to go there. Uh, so, first up, I made a list because if you watch any of my past videos, I tend to forget what I want to say a lot. Um, and I probably still forgot to write things down, so if I come up with more, I might. First up is Space Mountain. And I love Space Mountain. I love roller coasters. I love the surprise aspect of like not really knowing where you're going and stuff. And I'm really into space. Um, so I think that's really cool. Splash Mountain is a classic. Um, I think it's just a really fun, just like calm ride until you know you get the big surprise at the end. Um, obviously Pirates of the Caribbean is a classic. Uh, just I, I've always loved that ride. I've, and I remember specifically going on that when I was little. When I was younger, I didn't ride roller coasters or anything really scary. But I, my mom really loved Pirates of the Caribbean. My mom was very protective of me. Very, very, very protective. Um, but I was allowed to go on Pirates of the Caribbean. And I loved that. I remember one time I went on multiple times. Once with my, I rode like with my mom. Then another time I like, rode with my brothers. And another time I rode with my cousins. Like I think in the same day. Or maybe just the same trip. Um, sorry, I just got a text message. Oh. <laughs> um, next, Haunted Mansion. Um, I love Haunted Mansion. I love, I think I've mentioned in a previous video, I even love the movie that Eddie Murphy was in. I, that, and I don't even know, I probably should have known, but I don't remember that being a ride. <laughs> because, I'm speaking to my mother somewhat recently about it. She thought it would be too scary for me. Just like, I didn't see... Nightmare Before Christmas until, like, how old am I now? T like, 10 years ago? Maybe a little later than that. Maybe a little sooner. I mean, like, maybe 12. But I didn't see it. I watched it on, like, HBO or something for the very first time. And I loved the movie. My mom was like, well, I thought it would be too scary for you. I love that movie. Um, but next, Haunted Mansion. So, classic again. Uh, really just love that ride. Uh, next is going to be Mission Space from Epcot. I know a lot of people don't really like that ride, but I really like Mission Space. Again, I really like space. I think it's really cool. Um, so really like Mission Space. Um, yeah, and it wasn't a long wait whenever I went for it on the, the first time. Next, my absolute favorite, I think, I don't know, in my top three, easy, Tower of Terror. Again, I wasn't allowed to go on this ride um, when I was little. I didn't go until I went with my boyfriend in 2014. And I love the ride. We went on it like four times and it was great. Um, so I really like that ride. My mom got to go on that ride though, but someone had to walk. Of course, I was like eight or younger. Maybe she thought I was too young. Um, next is Rock and Roller Coaster. And I love Aerosmith. I love classic rock music. I love roller coasters. It's just a mixture of good things. I kind of wish they would update the beginning part of it when you walk in that room. I heard rumors are going to change the band, and I hope they don't do that, but I just wish there was, like, a more updated version, so, but the queue is really, I mean, I think the queue is cool, but if they could just do, like, an updated version with more recent Aerosmith, I think that'd be nice. Um, next, oh, I'll do Star Tours next. I, I have never seen the Star Wars movies, I know, sue me, sorry, I, like, put my eye on my lip, okay. But I love the ride. I love Star Tours. It's so cool. I like how there's different, you know, you get a different experience, like, each time you go. There's, like, four different experiences, I believe, four or five. Um, I was Star, the enemy at one point. I forget what they're called. But I was the enemy in one of the times, and it was, you know, super cool. Um, I just wish they gave you more of a notice, I guess, because, I mean, that picture was not flattering of me. <laughs> not like many are, but that one especially. Uh, sorry to keep looking down. I'm sorry to keep looking here. 
but I like, I don't like to look at myself, but I'm looking at myself because it's more natural. Um, next I will do Expedition Everest. I think Animal Kingdom, of course, recently they opened Pandora, but before Pandora, I feel like it was such an underrated part, park. People said it was a half day park. I guess nobody likes riding rides multiple times because I do and then Shane does. So, I mean, I can spend a full day at Animal Kingdom. There's so much to look at, and I love animals. I'm a huge animal lover. So I love being able to see them in, like, as much of their natural habitat as I can. So I think I love that. I love Expedition Everest. I think it's just a really cool concept. I mean, I think it's really cool. Um, so, yeah. And then also from Animal Kingdom, I love Dinosaur. And... Also, I think when I was younger, I don't remember ever going to Animal Kingdom. I think they were pretty much stuck with Magic Kingdom. I remember going to Hollywood Studios or MGM back, you know. Uh, but I don't think we ever really went to Animal Kingdom or Epcot at all when I was a kid. But anyway, so I've been on Dinosaur and I love that ride. It's such a thrill and I love the idea. It's just really cool. I really like it. If you haven't been to Animal Kingdom because people keep telling you it's a half day park and stuff, I highly recommend on going because those two rides alone are worth the hundred dollar ticket. And then the kill I didn't put a Kilimanjaro sorry safaris on here, which is an obvious one. I feel like if you're going to Animal Kingdom, you have to like animals. You have to like that ride. Um, I love it a million times already, but I love animals. I love seeing them. Just I love it. So I would love to go on like a real like African safari whenever I get money to travel and stuff. Like I think it'd be so cool just to see them, and um, I'll. I'm not a fan of hunting of any kind, so especially like when they're endangered or, you know, like that. I really don't like it. Um, next, I put Seven Dwarves and Mine Train, and I wouldn't say so much the ride itself is my favorite. I think it's a really cool concept because, you know, the things kind of sway a little bit and stuff, but I, I love the quality of like whenever you get in the diamond mine like that alone was like worth the wait for me it's just going through the diamond mine I love it it's so cool just and the queue is really nice because if you have little kids which I do not <laughs> but if you have little kids there's like little games you can play with like little stuff you can spin around in um as you're waiting in line so I think that's really nice especially like whenever we went I didn't get to ride it in 2014 I went with um Shane and his mom and her friend with their son who was younger and it was like a two hour wait the entire time we were there. I think it was the year after it opened or maybe two years. I don't remember when it opened. A year or two after it opened, it was still like a two hour wait and I wasn't waiting two hours. I don't, I'm very impatient. There's no fast passes available and I wasn't, like I said, I'm not waiting. So I didn't ride it until 2015 when me and Shane went by ourselves and we went to Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party and that was only like a 20 minute wait or something and it was really good. Like they said, the excuse me and I still wouldn't wait two hours I'm not gonna wait two hours for anything okay flight of passage I don't care how cool it is I'm not waiting two hours I have a life I have things to do I want to eat food but it's if you're patient and you don't mind waiting in lines or you go during a busy season and that's two hours I definitely recommend it the diamond mine scene alone is just like worth it um small world is a classic I love small world um, again, I didn't write in 2014 because Shane was making fun of me because the song is stuck in your head, but it's such a cute little song. It's about the world coming together, which is definitely what we need right now with all these tragedies and everything. But I mean, we should always be like that. We should always be inclusive of no matter what, in my opinion. I just feel like that ride really just like embraces that. Um, so I really like that ride. As a little kid, it was my absolute favorite. Again, I'd ride it all the time. My mom would take me on it as my brothers would go on like the bigger rides, <laughs> but love is a small world and I love the teacups. I love my favorite rides. Like I live right near Hershey Park, so I'll probably do a video about her my favorite rides at Hershey Park soon too. Um, but my favorite ride there is the Total Whirl. I love spinning really fast. I don't get sick. I'm lucky I don't get motion sick, um, but the teacups are also one of my favorites. So... I think that's it for Disney World that I can remember right now. And there's so many. Like, I love all the rides. A lot of them are, like, cute. Like, I love the Dumbo ride. But, like, I'm, I'm older now. I'm 24. I'm an adult. You know? I can't get on Dumbo anymore. But I, like, I love that ride. Aladdin. And I just can't even think of everything. 
that's what I do in myself. I like I never got to go on test track. I do like Soren, but I just feel like it's so overhyped. Like that same with like the Frozen movie got so overhyped, and then I get on and I'm like, oh, it's good, but like, where's the what I was expecting? Like I don't know. I think I just had too high of ex expectations. So flipping my list over, I go to Disneyland. I've only been to Disneyland once. I didn't get to do California Adventure, unfortunately. I only got to do the Disneyland side. Um, and I put the, I did the, the repeats on there. I have the teacups for the same reason. Um, it's just really cool. I wish it was just a little longer. I haven't been on teacups at Disney World since I was little, but, because Shane gets motion sick. But teacups at Disneyland, I think that where I was like, it felt like 30 seconds. Like, really, just super quick. Maybe it might be like a minute, but like, we waited in line. That was the first, that was the very first ride we did. And we waited, like, only 15, 20 minutes, okay? That wasn't like it was long because that was the first ride we did. But it was, like, a minute long. It took longer to get the ride set up than it did. Like, after we went seated, it took longer to get it going than it did to, to ride it. But we did go on a busy day. I don't know if they changed on busy days or that's just how it is. But if it could just be a little longer, I would like that. Um, so I have teacups, Small World. And I think it's really cool at Disneyland Small World that it starts outside. And I know it doesn't rain that much in California, but that would like, be my concern. But I think it's so, like, I think it's cool. Like, you get to see the outside and, like, it's really pretty how it's done there. I don't know. I think it's really cool. I have the Pirates. And I haven't been, so, it's been so long. But I haven't been to Disney in two years now. Disney World, excuse me. So, they could have, like, changed it. And I know they're going to if they didn't already. But I think I prefer Pirates of the Caribbean at... Florida better, or excuse me, in California better, um, at Disneyland, and I said, I wish, because I'm just an awkward person, I'm not very social, like, I wish we didn't, there, you get to ride by the queue, as, like, you're going back from the ride, I was just, like, I wish it was just kind of, like, hidden, I'm sure it's, like, it was cool for me in the queue, as I was, like, watching them, I think it's really cool, but me being in the boat, going back in, I'm, like, oh, this is, like, people are looking at me, like, that's kind of weird, to me, also, Haunted Mansion, I have, and it's pretty similar for the most part that I remember. Um, like I said, my memory is awful and I haven't been to Disney World in two years. Um, but I think Haunted Mansion is pretty much the same. I, you know, I like, I love the rides. They're going to be good no matter what to me. Um, so I think those are, those are most of the repeats. I think I did smaller, yeah. And the next one, I know they have Space Mountain, but when we were there, we went there May, the beginning of May. So it was Star Wars, you know, Star Wars Day or whatever time and so we got on hyperspace mountain and that was so cool it was just such a it wasn't you know it's not space mountain it was very really similar and the queue for that line is huge we waited because what was going on something happened the ride broke down we ended up waiting like an hour and a half or something but it is so good got it i waited two hours and that's because you know why we did because by the time we realized we had to wait we were already like more than halfway to the front and then that's when we had to wait like an additional 30 minutes or something but either way it doesn't matter it was really good um i didn't ride star wars star tours there because we ran out of time but the hyperspace mountain was really good it was really cool it was pretty much pit black pitch well like space mountain but it was even darker as you could imagine and you saw like lasers and or whatever you call it like i said i haven't seen star wars but it was cool. It was just a cool experience. I'm glad I got to ride it because I've ridden Space Mountain. I'm sure it's very similar at Disney Land like it is at Disney World. So I'm super excited I got to ride it. Love it. Um, my top two favorites for Disneyland that I got to ride. I wish I could go to Disneyland California Adventure. I'm going back. Next year I'm planning on going to Disney World. But maybe the year after that I would love to go back to Disneyland and actually like explore both parks and like really get into it and actually go, and go Universal as well. Um, but Matterhorn... It was so much fun. I'm actually, or like, was it the Bob, is Matterhorn the bobsled thing? Now I feel stupid. Oh my god. Guys, I feel really dumb. I think it's the bobsled thing, right? <laughs> if I'm wrong, whatever. I, if, the, if it's not the Matterhorn, the Matterhorn was not there because I would remember. But it's the bobsled thing where you go, I'm pretty sure it is, it's like a mountain. It is, it is. Matterhorn, I really like. With the bobsleds, you go around, and me and my friends did the single rider line because that line, I don't know how long it normally is, and I don't know how long the queue is because we did the single rider line, 
but it was out of the queue going around the ride. We walked to the end of the line and we're like, maybe there's a single line of ride and we just did that and we all rode separately. We didn't even care because I went with me and my two other friends, but even with strangers, it was just so much fun and it was just really cool. I mean, I love how you see little glimpses of the outside. You can see the views and stuff. So I really loved that ride and I really, really, really loved the Roger Rabbit ride. I thought it was so fun. Um, I don't know, it's really cool, so I'm really glad we wrote that, but, I mean, if you get motion sick, I wouldn't suggest the Roger Rabbit ride, pretty much. Same with most things, I feel, at Disney World. I mean, I guess it depends how sensitive you are, but, yeah, the Roger Rabbit was just so cool and kind of different, I'm glad they was, like, I'm really worried because I want to take Shane back and show him this stuff, and I'm really afraid that especially Roger Rabbit is going to be going away since it's so, like, not well known anymore. But it was such a fun ride, such a cool ride. Two Town in general was such a cool ride. Same with like the Inspector Gadget roller coaster, which we did ride despite it, you know, being for little kids. But we rode it anyways because you know you're only we California is. It was only an eight hour plane ride or a nine hour plane ride. I don't know, <clears throat> but it was just it's just a track. It's hard to drive fly that way. And that depends on you need a passport. I don't have a passport yet to fly anywhere, so I need to get a passport. But. Yeah, so those are my favorite rides. If I forgot any, or if you had, like, if I forgot any, I love my own opinion, but let me know your favorite rides down below if I didn't put them in here, or even if I did. Like, I think it's really cool, like, my absolute favorite ride, Tower of Terror, is yours, or is your absolute favorite still Small World, even though that's, like, my favorite, you know, classic. Like, let me know down below if you love Disney, or horror movies, or anything, because I do everything. Subscribe. Like this video. Subscribe. Let me know what you want to see below. And till next time, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.